live now. What's happening, everybody, over here on uh, Facebook Live? Here we go. We're doing Mike Marino live from my mother's basement. It's about 10 minutes to 4 o'clock on August 4th. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm doing a little broadcast right now because I'm getting ready to go do a live event. A couple of people waving already. This is fantastic. I love Instagram. This is the best. Look at how fast. What's up, guys? How you doing, man? It's nice to see you. The real Willie Watts just joined. How you doing, Willie Watts? It's nice to see you. And it's good to see you too, Marklin, right over there. Marklin and I, Marklin Scotch Plains, a few people who've seen his name, are going to be doing a double broadcast sometime this week. He'll broadcast while I'm broadcasting. We're going to drive everybody out of their fucking minds. It's going to be out of control. What's up, Goomba? Hey, Street King, it's nice to see you. Hope everybody's having a great time. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people over here are waving, and they're writing. we got some Goomba friends live in Canada and the USA. Okay, thank you so much. we got a lot of people from Canada watching the show right now, <clears throat> and a lot of people from different uh, places all around the world. Oh, shit. Folks, I came down to the basement to do this broadcast. It is gorgeous outside. It thunderstormed this morning. I guess this is my weather report. It thunderstormed this morning. It rained so hard. It was like a foot of water in my yard, but it filled my pool. And now my pool is a good two feet deep. Hey, Sicilian guy from Montreal. How you doing? It's nice to see you. I'm actually going to be breaking my way to Canada in November, which is going to be fantastic. All right? Everybody's writing in a little fast this morning. Thank you so much for doing that. Before I get into my broadcast, a lot of people have been asking me about these shirts that I wear on stage. They're loud, they're cool, they're badass, and I have them because I'm sponsored by a clothing company called Absolute Rebellion. Go to absoluterebellion.com and check them out. They're really, really cool. Look at that, bada boom, bada bang, ah, nah. They got all really, really great shirts. Or if you want a shirt of a different kind, look at all these people waving. I guess I gotta wave back, wave back, wave back, wave back. Wave, wave, wave. Don't wave. Say something. Say something crazy. I'll try to I'll try to mimic it. Tom, how you doing? My teeth are feeling good, Tom. So far, so good. If you see Tom B over here, this guy's a great dentist. If you're looking for a dentist and you're in New Jersey, I don't know why if you remember, but I'm from the grandeur of the seas cruise ship. I went up to you and shook your hand and said you had a great show, which, by the way, was hilarious. Well, thank you very much. And I appreciate that, and I do remember you, and it's nice to see you. And thank you so much for being a friend and a fan. I appreciate that. Can you do a British accent? Look at this. I'm being challenged on my show. Can I do a British accent? Well, let me tell you something, mate. I think I might be able to bring in one of those accents if I tried really hard. I don't know if I feel like doing it. I'm a little busy this afternoon. I'm doing a broadcast. But if you think that's pretty good, then I guess I'm done, and I'll talk to you again. Chip, chip, tell you. I hope that was okay for you. There you go. Mike Marino, my acting. You're fucking looking good tonight. Thank you so much. All right? Thank you so much, everybody, for writing in so far. You're my favorite American comedian, and I love you for saying that. I really do. In the business, that's so difficult and so hard to get across to people around the world and make everybody laugh, especially at the crazy times that we're in right now. I appreciate those compliments. We did a really big show last night live, and I had my brother's band on stage with me while I was playing the drums, and that's the Paul Marino band. These guys were <laughs> – stick to the Jersey accent. Sorry there, buddy. <laughs> you know, I could take a joke. I could take a joke. Yeah, you're hilarious. I hope to see you in the future. Yes, you will. Hi, Mike. I'm a big fan, and I think you're fucking funny. Thank you so fucking much. I appreciate that. Can you please follow me back? Okay, God Tiller, God Tiller, I will do my best to follow you back right now. I'm live on a talk show. I'm trying to get this out. And there's Mike Lucas. Hey, Mike. I hope things are going great. And Tom, thank you so much. Uh, Tom is a great dentist, folks. And if you can see him right over here on my Facebook Live, and you need a dentist, because we all need a dentist from time to time, you want to go to the Autobahn Family Dentistry and look up Tom. Uh, Tom breathed up. It's hard to say his last name. Breathed up, breathed up. I call him Dr. Tom, and he's at the Autobahn, Autobahn Family Dentistry, which is in Autobahn, New Jersey. So if you like these shirts, 
just go to you don't just look good you're from jersey you fucking look good all right thank you so much taco shop heard of heard you say fuck lol lol on the looks i got uh scorpion king i really don't know what that means try that again love from new jersey okay thank you so much folks i'm selling these shirts make america italian again you checking it out make america italian again says new jersey's bad boy on the front and on the back make america italian again now if you want one of these shirts all you got to do is go to www.mikemarino.net and check it out is that port mcgowan i think it is one of the funniest comedians working the circuit right now is a guy named court mcgowan and i'm pretty sure that's him right there court how you doing man it's nice to see you welcome to uh my podcast, which is uh, live from my mother's basement. We're having a little bit of fun down here this afternoon. I figured I'd do a broadcast before I got out to the uh, show that I'm going to right now. Here's Pamela Roth. Pamela, I can't thank you enough for all that you do. I really appreciate you. Keep spreading the word to make America Italian again, the Mike Marino Show. Uh, Mike Lucas is writing in right now, and I want to say right, right now, so thank you, thank you, thank you to Mike Lucas. He gave me these rags. You see these rags, folks? This is what helps you clean your car. These are waxing rags. Right now, you can see on Instagram, my brother Paul from the Paul Marino Band. And we were just talking about my brother's band, the Paul Marino Band. Just go to www.thepaulmarinoband.com and watch the musical version of the Marino family. He's a phenomenal entertainer. We were on stage last night in front of 250 people. The show is fantastic. I'm going to get him to come on my show. And he can talk about his career as a musician, a singer, playing the guitar, the trumpet, the harmonica, the drums, out of control. So we did a great show last night, and we're going down there. I'll send him away to another show in a little while. But we were talking about these rags that you use to wax a car. They're fluffy, they're soft, they're beautiful. And you want to get your wax for your car from my new sponsor. Check this out. Bam. Look at this delicious shit that you use for your car. Okay, here's the tire shine. Sh tire shine, everybody see it? Tire shine, all right? You don't need armor all, you get this. You understand? And then when you want to wax your car, Aquanil, or Aquanil, Aquanil. See how cool this is? And everybody can get it just by going to CroftGateUSA.com. CroftGateUSA.com, or you can write to Mike Lucas right here, who will help you get this product, because he has a great, a great, great uh, product, okay? CroftGateUSA.com. Mike Lucas, if there's anything else you want to say while you're here on my live uh, page, I will do that again on Instagram. And we will tell everybody how I get these sponsors and how I get to show off what the sponsors have to offer, which you obviously you can see there's a sign behind me over this shoulder. We're going to talk all about that in a minute. Right now, I want to do a shout out to my man, one of my original sponsors, Emilio the Fabio, uh, with who is from Fabio Fabio Construction. You have to excuse me. I'm getting so much mail so fast. I don't even know who to talk to or look at first. And I really, really appreciate that it's coming in in the hundreds, which is really, really badass. Is people even texting me at the same time? Emilio De Fabio, the Fabio Construction. If you're in New Jersey and you need to build a highway, you need to build a house, you need to put up a building, call thefabioconstruction.com. Great guy. <laughs> he's, 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 he's saying crazy stuff about me. And there's Shantae Keats, and she's a, a fellow Scotch Plains Fanwood High School graduate with me. We graduated just a couple years ago. Shantae, it's nice to see you. They're actually having a Scotch Plains Fanwood High School reunion today at four o'clock for many different um, graduating classes from the 1960s straight through to today. So no matter when you graduated, you can go to Bar Anticipations in Belmar, New Jersey right now. I thought it was gonna get rained out. I was gonna go, but I couldn't make it. I have a show I gotta do in a little while, son of a bitch. I would la rather take the night off and not entertain and go to a high school reunion and see friends that I haven't seen in a really long time because that's always fun and I enjoy that. And of course, all the guys are looking at each other going, yeah, I didn't lose as much hair as he did. Well, I know, oh, the washing wax. 
This is uh, <laughs> my sponsor just corrected me. Russell, how you doing? This is wash and wax. I haven't used this product yet, but Mike Lucas, who is the uh, sponsor of Croftgate USA, I'm going to have to look into this and we'll talk to this even further. But Mike, you're always welcome to write about your products on the live feed right now so that everybody can enjoy what my sponsors have to offer. And before I go over any further, okay, my title sponsor for the next four months, Remax, ladies and gentlemen, Remax. Now, we all know there's a lot of realtors out there, and we have to pick one when we go to look for a house or when we're trying to sell our own home because we're moving to another place. But I choose Remax of Berkeley Heights, Remax Integrity Advantage. You want to call my friends who sponsor this show and my live performances, Barbara and Jim Mulcahy from Remax, 908-665-0600. That's Barbara and Jim Mulcahy from Remax of Berkeley Heights, 908-665-0600. You could also look them up on the internet right here at www.sellwithmulcahy.com, www.sellwithmulcahy.com. I don't know if anybody saw that right there on the Instagram, but there you go, Instagram folks. Sell with Mulcahy, okay? And also, we have some other sponsors that we're gonna be talking about later in the year. For all you auto detailing needs, contact me. All right, there you go. That's exactly what I wanted you to do, Mike. So folks, anybody could sponsor a show, especially a live performance, because you get a lot of bang for your buck. We advertise you on the internet, and we also advertise you on radio shows. So if I'm gonna go on 101.5, or if I'm gonna go on uh, any talk show out there, there's a chance that I'll talk about your product on other shows, including mine. And my show is not just on Instagram, and it's not just on uh, Facebook Live, it's on ddvradio.com, which airs every Thursday Thursday night at eight o'clock, uh, uh, five o'clock on the West Coast, eight o'clock here in the real coast. So you just go to www.ddvradio.com and you can listen to the show or another radio show has embraced Mike Marino live from my mother's basement on italianamericanradio.com. That's right. You can listen to me on italianamericanradio.com. Right now, Mike Lucas is telling everybody that if you want some special auto detailing prices, you go to www.buycroftgatenorthjersey.net, right? These really are cool products. I wouldn't brag about them if I didn't already use them myself. I have a really great car, and I'm happy with these products, okay? And here's also the wash and wax. And all you have to do is go to www.buycroftgatenorthjersey.net. Dot net. Hello, Mike Marino sent you. Hey, Pino John, how are you? It's nice to see you. I hope you're having a great day, buddy. Thank you so much for writing into the show. Mike Lucas, thank you so much for all that you do. Keep those cards and letters coming, and we'll keep the show going. Mike, one us of wash and wax, or one ounce of wash and wax to a gallon of water, no more hose. Check that out. Okay, so look, we should have you on the show, Mike. Anyway. You take this wash and wax, you put an ounce of it in water, and you don't need the hose. That's really cool. All right, cool. Evan, how you doing, man? It's nice to see you. Looking forward to you at the Taylor Street performance. Wow, that's really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, on uh, August 16th, I'm performing at the Italian American Feast on Taylor Street in Chicago, and uh, I can't wait. I'm flying into Chicago. Uh, Small change, uh, that's his name, small change. I'm flying into Chicago on August 15. I will be performing on August 16. August 17, I fly to Alaska, and I'll be in Alaska for a week of shows. From Alaska, I come back to New Jersey on August 25 for more shows while I'm here in New Jersey. I'm going to get me that fancy shirt with my name on it. All right, well, you got to call me about that, Mike. 
Wayne Pinnell, how you doing? They're having a uh, Wayne Pinnell and his wife. Uh, hey, Donna Marie, it's nice to see you again. It was nice to see you, Donna Marie. You're always watching the show, and I appreciate that. We share the same name. Well, small change, what's your name? Mike Marino, there's Karen. Hey, guys, they're having a uh, high school reunion, not just for our graduating class, but for many different graduating classes at Bar Anticipation in Belmar, New Jersey. Right now, it starts at 4 o'clock, I think for $11, you, or you can eat buffet, you know, hot dogs and hamburgers, and potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni salad. I just made myself hungry. And uh, you can all get down there and be part of that. Right now, when I'm done with this broadcast at around 4.15, 4.20, I got to get in my car and go drive down to a performance that I'm going to be doing, of course, again, with my brother Paul from the Paul Marino Band. Looking good, Mike. Keep up the good work. Watched yous for a few years now. <laughs> Thank you, Pettijohn. I appreciate that, Scorpion King. How you doing? Look what I'm drinking. Arnold Palmer, half and half. But I think this is the dietetic one. It's not that good. It's not that good. I should have a name drink that name a drink named after me. The Mike Marino drink. You get half uh, beer and half I don't know marijuana. <laughs> Hello, the daily dose of Cam. Well, all right. Nice to see you. Hope you guys are having a great time, great day. Scorpion King, love you, man. You're the best. I'd buy that. <laughs> all right, folks. I want to share something with you. Have an awesome show tonight. Thank you so much, Elsa. I appreciate that. I hope you're going to come to the show and keep on coming. Live performances, folks. You want to know where I'm going to be tonight? I'm doing a private event. But on Monday night, I'm going up to the Villa Roma, which is in the Catskills, the old school Catskills, Villa Roma, New York. And I'm going up there on August 6th, August 9th. The Paul Marino Band is performing on the pier in Belmar, New Jersey. That's right. My brother's band, the Paul Marino Band, is performing August 9th on the pier in Belmar, New Jersey, and I plan on being there, sitting in on the drums, because that's what I do. August 10th, everybody, if you're from the 80s, like I am, and we used to dance like this, we're going to the Montego Bay Reunion, August 10th, at the Headliner in Belmar, New Jersey. Now, if you remember Montego Bay on 4th and Ocean, Belmont, New Jersey, long before the Jersey Shore kids were doing anything, probably long before they were even fucking born, me and my crew, that's right, my crew, I'll show you on Instagram. Boom. We hung out at Montego Bay. And Montego Bay is having a reunion. So we're going down there so we can dance. 1982 to 1987, this place was the hottest dance club on the Jersey Shore. Not Seaside, not Long Branch, not Asbury Park. Belmont, New Jersey was the place to be. And me and my group of guys used to hang there. And God bless us all. We're still alive and kicking it. So we're going. I hope you're coming. Don't forget, Belmont, New Jersey, August 10, 8 o'clock at night, Montego Bay reunion at the headliner. Look at all the advertising I just did for the headliner. I haven't been to the headliner in so many years. August 11, August 13. Back to the Catskills. Mike Marino live at Villa Roma. If you're in the Catskills, come on down. Salute, salute. Some people are telling me to salute, which is a nice way of saying, Jin Don, hope you're having a good day. Todd Angelo Maggio, it's nice to see you. Smooth, it's nice to see you. Senator. Nice to see you. And then on August 16th, I'll be in Chicago. So for all my friends and fans out in Chicago, Taylor Street Italian Festival. Come and check me out. If you're going to be in uh, Alaska, that's a whole nother story. Go to MikeMarino.net. September 5, back to another Jersey show of runs. No, another run of shows. So if you're going to be in New Jersey, I got a show on September 5, September 6, September 7 and 8, California, September 10 through 15, Las Vegas, Nevada, September 20, 21, 22, I'm doing a show at the Jersey City Lowe's as part of the Golden Door Film Festival. I have a movie coming out 
on September 21 at the Golden Door Film Festival in Jersey City, New Jersey. Folks, you got to see this. Wait till you see my acting debut. I play a detective. It's the co-starring role in a movie called Criticized as we look for this murderer to solve the case. And that's going to be up on stage at the Jersey City Lowe's. I'm going to do a 20-minute set to make people laugh and have fun. I'm also going to be hosting the award ceremony. So just go to www.mikemarino.net and check out all the wonderful shit that's going on. September 26th, I'll be at Harris in Atlantic City. And September 28th, 29th, and 30th, I will be Laughs Unlimited in Sacramento, California. That's right. Laughs Unlimited, Sacramento, California. So, folks, if you want to come and see any show that's a live performance, all you got to go to www.mikemarino.net. And, of course, also all my social media is at Mike Marino Live. Obviously, Mike Marino Live on Instagram, Mike Marino Live here on Facebook, my fan page, and Mike Marino Live on YouTube. Now, if you go to my YouTube channel, we're starting to release new videos every Monday. Every Monday, a new video is going to be up there. Ha, Todd, I don't get shot in the beginning of this movie, man, towards the end. <laughs> oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. I fucked up. Okay, so I died. Well, if they make the sequel, maybe they'll have me come back or some shit. But anyway, you know, the co-stars always got to get shot. Especially a guy like me. You know how sad it's going to be when you find out I get wasted? Everybody's going to cry. Anyway, hope maybe I'll even win an award that night, which would be weird because I'm the host. I could imagine going, and the winner is Mike Reno. I'm like, oh, God, thank you so much. I can't believe I won. Oh, Oscar, I'll take you to bed with me. That's from Bugs Bunny. You remember? Oh, Oscar, I'll take you to bed with me every night. What's the movie called, Mike? I'm going to check it out. The movie is called Criticized. In fact, folks, you can see it right now. If you go to Amazon Prime, you can see my uh, comedy special, which is live from the Borgata in Atlantic City. So Mike Marino, live from the Borgata, Atlantic City, is on Amazon Prime. And also the movie Criticized is on Amazon Prime. You can also go to criticizedthemovie.com and uh, check it out. It's actually a really great movie. It's a thriller. It's kind of like the movie Saw, a little disgusting in some places. And then there's uh, the attitude of uh, the movie Seven. And it's really just badass. You got to check this shit out. I mean, even if I wasn't in the movie, I would have enjoyed watching it. Because I like that type of uh, movie. Here's some history if you guys really want to know. I was uh, cast in the movie. I know the director. The director, Carl Evans, wrote and produced several movies. He's a good friend of mine. He asked me if I wanted to be in the movie, and I was going to be playing a police officer, which is about maybe, let's say, the fourth or fifth lead. After a couple of days of shooting, they had to let go of the co-star. Because the co-star was a movie star, and he was drinking a little too much, and they couldn't get him out of the trailer. Yup, this is a true story. This is true shit. Paying this guy, I don't know, $20,000 a day, and he can't get up because he's been eating the booze. So my buddy Carl calls me up and says, hey, Mike, do me a favor. I want you to be the co-star in this movie. Uh, get the script as fast as you can and study your lines. We need you in a couple hours. That's just how crazy this shit is. So I showed up on the set with the line, oh, 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 oh. and uh, I pulled it off, man. It's a badass movie. I got to drive a cop car with the cameras on the car. The coast, the lead actor in the passenger seat flying down the freeway to 101, listening to the walkie-talkie, doing my lines. It's really, really cool. Hey, Mike, congrats on the movie. Thank you so much, Queen Maya. You are the best. When I get back to California, I hope you'll help me climb that, uh, I don't know, curtains that you climb on. Hit Novino. That's right. Well, who knows what kind of drugs this guy was doing. But anyway, so I got the part in the movie, and now I'm in it, and uh, hopefully uh, that'll continue going and growing because the ultimate goal for a guy like me is a sitcom. And I don't even mean just any old sitcom. I want to do my own shit. If you guys have been watching, really, seriously, go to Mike Marino Live on YouTube and watch the series we created, Make America Italian Again, Marino 2016. 
We're going to continue into Marino 2020. The characters are funny. The director is fantastic. The producers, unbelievable. Our social media people are just the best. So, folks, seriously, go to my YouTube channel, Mike Marino Live on YouTube. Watch the web series, Make America Italian Again, Marino 2016. It is just hilarious, and it makes you happy. And that's what we really need in this world. Somebody needs to make us happy because there's too much crap in the news these days that only not makes us happy, it makes us unhappy. It's a beautiful day outside. Everybody should be at the beach. Everybody should be having fun. So I'm going to get in my car right now, and i got to drive down to uh, the show that I'm going to. Um, while everybody's watching, I would like to just put out some unfortunate news. <clears throat> the other day, I was on the phone with a guy named George Bettinger. George Bettinger. He's a great guy. And I met him through some friends in the industry. And he had a radio show called The Mom and Pop Shop. The Mom and Pop Shop. And he would always have me on the radio, and he would allow me to plug my shows wherever I was touring and stuff. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, I was talking to him yesterday because he said that he was doing stand-up at the Friars Club in New York City, which is the most famous uh, comedy place for everybody in New York City. Thank you very much, Penna John. I appreciate that. Show everybody. I appreciate that. What's your real name, John? Write in. Tell me what your real name is. We'll do a shout out to you on the show, live from my mother's basement. So anyway, we're talking about George Bettinger, the radio personality. I was talking to him on the phone yesterday, and I said to him, your set was really, really good, John Penno. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, John. Um. He says to me, yeah, he's having some problems with drinking and that he went to rehab and that, uh, you know, he's trying to get out of depression. And I said, but I didn't even know that you had this kind of a problem. And he said, yeah, I have uh, a problem with depression and, you know, I'm going to get out of it. And it just comes and goes. It's really, really strange. And this, that and the other thing. Well, this morning I'm reading some news on Facebook and there's an announcement that my friend, who I was just talking to yesterday on the phone, is no longer with us. How does that happen? And you get the news on Facebook. You know, sometimes the news on Facebook is not fun. A lot of times I'm seeing things on Facebook of people who are gone. This person passed away. This person passed away. This person's not long. What is, this person's in the hospital. Prayers, prayers, everybody, prayers, prayers. Wow. Unbelievable. So I'm not going to depress anyone, but I will tell you this. If you're happy and you're healthy, boy, are you doing fantastic. Because there's a lot of people in this world that wish they were just healthy in general. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm getting around. And I'm having fun making people smile. So my hat's off to you, George Bettinger. You were one of the greatest entertainers of all time. It was so great being on your radio show, the mom and pop show, doing comedy from back in the day, the way it's supposed to be, funny and joyful. You're going to be missed, old boy. I'm going to, be, I'm going to miss going on your show. I'm going to miss your family, your wife, and your kid. I'm going to miss your laugh every time you came to my shows to support me because that's what entertainers are supposed to do support each other, and cheer them on as we go through this life of making people happy. And it's a goal that's actually difficult to achieve. So that is my tribute to George Bettinger, everybody. You can go to his Facebook page, George Bettinger, an unbelievable radio personality. Shocking. Shocking. Well, thank you, everybody. Listen, let's end on a good note. You got it, Maya Queen. Let's end it on a good note. <clears throat> the other day uh, at the show, someone asked me, you do this whole thing about Vinny get the bat. You do this whole thing about make America tying again. Did you really have a baseball bat? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a baseball bat in every corner of my house. 
I don't have a gun, but I have somebody else's gun. But if anybody ever broke into my house, Tampa, Florida, thanks, nice to see you. If anybody ever broke into my house and they weren't supposed to be here, oh yeah, oh yeah, I have baseball bats everywhere. I have some of the finest, most detailed baseball bats you're ever going to see. See this one? It says, Vinny, get the bat. Vinny, get the bat. Because a lot of my fans are super cool, and they send me gifts. I have a baseball bat collection that would rock your world. They're beautiful, and they're nice. You don't need a gun. One quick swing of this, nobody's getting up. Mm -mm. And you don't even have to swing. You can go forward with it like this, boom, right in the fucking nuts. That guy ain't even going to talk to nobody no more, okay? So protect yourselves. I'm Mike Marino. Let's make America Italian again. Remember, you don't know nothing, you don't say nothing, you don't see nothing. And how do I end every single one of my broadcasts by saying the same thing? Don't take no shit from nobody. Have a great day, everybody. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying watching my podcast live from my mother's basement. We're having a lot of fun and I'm going to have a lot of great guests on the show in the future. So if you like it, hit like. You could also leave a comment. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other funny videos. And you could also listen to my podcast on your favorite podcast app like Spotify and iTunes.